Hi guys, Joe here from Gosney. I'm here in the Gosney Test Kitchen and today we're going to be cooking a beautiful bone-in river beef in Rockbox. We've placed Rockbox under commercial extraction. Be sure to use yours outdoors. To help you achieve more even cooking, allow your meat to come up to room temperature for around 30 minutes and pat the steak dry with some kitchen towel. We want to remove the moisture from the surface of our steak to make sure it browns well all over. Whack a pan in Rockbox to start getting hot and chuck a good handful of salt and pepper on your board. Rub the steak with a little oil and roll the meat in the coarse seasoning mix. This is going to do two things. Not only will it season our rib beautifully, it's also going to add an insane gnarly crust or bark to the outside. Your pan won't take long to get hot in Rockbox, probably a minute or so. Then bring it over to your workstation, add a splash of oil and get the steak in there, pressing down as you do so. And get it straight in Rockbox to start cooking. The rolling flame and high temperature stone floor mean our bark will start forming pretty quickly, so keep an eye on it, turning and rotating as required, until the fat is beginning to caramelise and the crust is clearly formed. Pop a good knob of unsalted butter into the hot pan, along with a split bulb of garlic and some rosemary and thyme, and let the foamy herby butter mix with our meat juices. This is going to give us an incredible depth of flavour. Turn Rockbox down to its lowest setting before getting the pan back in to continue cooking. Grab yourself a spoon and baste the meat in that amazing flavoursome butter at regular intervals. Depending on the thickness of your rib, you'll probably be cooking for about 10 minutes all in all. You can use a temperature probe to check your steak by achieving an internal temperature of around 52 degrees Celsius for medium rare and 64 degrees for medium. Transfer the steak to a plate, pour over all that amazing meat juice butter and leave to rest for around 10 minutes. As a rule of thumb, you want to rest meat for as long as you cook it. Resting allows all the moisture in the meat that has been forced to the centre from cooking to become evenly distributed again and ensures our steak is juicy all the way through. Cut the steak into slices, sprinkle over a little mould and salt and get stuck in. 